Hello everybody of the Overland world. Uh, this, forgive me, it's my first uh, video I've done. Um, if you follow me on my Instagram, you'll see that I recently did a modification on my Tacoma and I took the bed off my truck. I've had a lot of questions on what I was doing, um, what mod I was doing, etc, etc. Well, I added a refrigerator and a second battery to my truck and I wanted to upgrade the wire that I initially put it in just for a quick setup. So I went back and did the did a zero gauge wire um, and I also added a shore plug with a marine battery charger under the hood. So if I pull up to an RV site or I'm at the house, I can plug it in to a uh, regular 110 wall outlet and it activates the charger to keep the second battery charged. But I also am running a Blue Sea battery isolator that when the truck is running after 13 and a half volts is there for 30 seconds, it activates and starts charging both batteries at the same time. And when the truck is off, when it drops down to 13 volts, it disconnects the second battery. So it works out amazing. I can usually get five days or so on the refrigerator in the summertime and I've seen almost 14 days in fall winter time on the fridge. So this is the battery isolator. It is a Blue Sea isolator and I will put the parts that I used in the description below. Um, this is the battery charger that I am using. It is for a single battery. They do make this in a dual and a tri battery. Um, and then obviously I have my marine deep cycle heavy duty battery. Um, funny thing is when I have this charger activated, it pumps enough voltage to this to tell this to turn on. So it actually will charge both my batteries at the same time. This is my pass through shore plug by NOCO. Um, I'll have a link for this in the description below. Um, that is <clears throat> where I use the plug in and it has probably a two foot long cord on the back and then I just bought an eight foot indoor outdoor extension cord that runs up to the battery charger. So this is my fridge. I have the Costway. It's a 54 quart fridge. Um, ru runs great. It has, it's, this is the Smittybilt um, cover. It is identical to the Smittybilt fridge. It is on a uh, front runner slide mounted to the bed. Um, excuse the mess. I have everything opened up from camping with Overland Box Fan this past weekend. So this is my 2009 Toyota Tacoma. And up behind my awning is where I run my second battery. And that runs, that sits on top of the wheel well because it's really unused space that I can't use. Um, I have the fridge wire. I have an accessory wire that I can plug miscellaneous stuff into. And then I have my, I have a, a 30 watt panel on the roof that is mounted onto the roof rack. And then I have an 80 watt that I can pull out and just lay across the windshield. So not much going on. Um, the truck is a slow work in progress to where I like it. I mean, I got my tent, awnings, um, and all that fun jazz. But as my bed, when my bed was off, I ran my wire up inside. It runs up behind the bedside. And runs out there is a storage cubby, like right here. And I drilled two holes that run into the battery box. And then I have all my battery box, all the wiring underneath there. Make it nice and organized. But overall, this is her um, three inch lift. I have the Blue Jay Overland um, six foot awning with the ARB four foot awning. Um, I made these mounts to mount the awning because I have the CBI mid height um, bed racks. So I just fabbed up some bracket just so I can have a, a bigger awning built onto the truck and it holds up right now. It's just laid out getting dried up. So, and that's that's it um like and subscribe uh don't hate too much this is my first uh 
video of many to come.